Stricter regulations around gaming in China and a resurgence of COVID-19 is resulting into slow growth for Chinese tech giants. After Alibaba, another Chinese firm, Tencent, has posted its first ever quarterly year-on-year -year revenue decline. Tencent posted quarterly revenue of $19.78 billion, a 3% fall compared to the same period last year. Tencent's workplace also shrunk almost 5%, underscoring the extent to which China's worsening economy is hurting its biggest corporations. China's most valuable company recorded its first quarterly drop in staffing since 2014 as layoffs rippled through the global tech sector finally hit the WeChat operator. The economic uncertainty in the world's second largest economy, China, is wreaking havoc on businesses from advertising to cloud computing and gaming. During the quarter, Tencent faced macroeconomic headwinds stemming from a resurgence of COVID in China and subsequent lockdowns of major cities, including the financial metropolis of Shanghai. Chinese authorities have committed to a zero COVID policy which has caused disruptions across the world's second largest economy. China's economy grew just 0.4% in the second quarter, missing analyst expectations. China's domestic video games industry has also faced challenges due to stricter regulation. Tencent makes about a third of its total revenue from gaming. Last year, Chinese regulators introduced a rule limiting the amount of time children under 18 years old could spend playing online games to a maximum of three hours a week and only during specific times. Regulators also froze the approval of new games between July 2021 and April this year. During the height of the COVID pandemic and lockdowns globally, people turned to gaming for entertainment and companies like Tencent saw a jump in their businesses. But since countries have reopened, people are spending less time playing games and the year-on-year -year comparisons for companies are tough to live up to. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.